the first example we are going to explore is that where we have the coefficients equal to one. So our features are on the same scale. And here we can see that the model converges quite fast from a random point to the global minimum. One important thing here that we have to keep in mind is that the convergence rate is dependent on the learning rate alpha in this example. If we make it too small, then the gradient descent will take forever to converge. And if we make it too big, then gradient descent will start to diverge. So having said that, what would happen if we increase one of our coefficients and thus changing the scale of our features? Let's say that we increase the coefficients for the y variable. If we keep the same learning rate alpha, as you can see on the left image, the gradient descent still converges on the x-axis, but diverges on the y-axis. So why is that? Well, the answer is simple. The learning rate alpha is tuned for the scale of the x-axis, but not for the scale of the y-axis. And if we start to decrease the learning rate alpha, let's say from 0.1 to 0.05, then the gradient descent algorithm starts not to diverge on the y-axis, but to oscillate between minus 2 and 2 which indeed is an improvement for our algorithm. However, this also affects the convergence rate on the x-axis, making it slower, as you might already have noticed. To make the algorithm converge, we have to decrease the learning alpha even further, let's say to 0.01. Now, this learning rate is tuned for the y-dimension, and as you can see, the gradient descent quickly converges to the global minimum on the y-axis. Unfortunately, on the x-axis, the learning rate is too small and the algorithm converges really slowly. Also, if we increase the coefficient of y, then we have to decrease the learning rate alpha even more to have a stable convergence, which in turn will make the convergence on the x-axis even slower. And if we increase both the coefficient of x and y to the same value, then we would of course have to decrease the learning rate alpha, but the convergence rate would be the same as in the initial case. So, in a nutshell, this is why we normalize the input data, at least for models that are using gradient descent. Basically, you don't have to sacrifice convergence speed on some dimensions in order to gain stability on others. We can, on the other hand, use a different learning rate on each dimension, but this will make the tuning process of the model much harder since you are using more hyperparameters.